so we're continuing with the binomial theorem. This is going to be example two. Uh, now, here we're going to determine the constant in the binomial expansion of 3p minus 1 over p all to the power of 18. Okay, so what is the variable if it's the constant? Do we have a variable if it's a constant? No. no. So it's going to be the term with p to the power of 0, zero because p to the power of 0 equals 1. All right. So that was the point of me asking that strangely worded question at the beginning. My apologies. So first, we need to figure out um, what p of 0, where, where it is. All right. Uh, let's write down what we know. So n is equal to 18. Now a, it's equal to 3p, but I'm not going to worry about the 3, okay? Because I'm just concerned about the exponent on the variable. And for b, it's negative 1 over p, but the only part I care about is the exponent. So I'm just going to look at the fact that this is p to the power of negative 1, okay, because it's 1 over p, and I don't know what k is, so we're going to have to figure that out. All right, so then here we've got p, so that's my a term, 18 minus k, that's n minus k, p to the minus 1 to the power of k. All right, so p to the power of 0 is equal to, and just combine the exponents here. So this is 18 minus k. And is it okay if we look at this and say, okay, that's minus k, because you multiply the two together? Okay, so p to the power of 18 minus 2k. And now let's drop the base, drop the bases, and solve the exponents here. So I'm going to have 0 equals 18 minus 2k. 2k equals k equals 9. Okay. Now, what are we actually wanting? Which term do we want? k plus 1. That is t9. So k is 9. So we want the tenth term. I'm not writing what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm just kind of, and it's, I'm having trouble thinking. Okay. Notice what I did with we want. <laughs> okay. We want the tenth term. Very exciting. Okay. Now, we can actually go figure out the 10th term now. So let's do that up here. And so T10 is, and we're going to use our NCK, A, N minus K, B, K. All right, so that is 18C9, uh, 3P. Now I'm going to put in my 3 here, and I'm going to keep everything that I have. So 18 minus 9. And then one oh, negative 1 over p, 9. So 18c9 is 48620. And then this is, what is this, folks? 9? Nine. So can I just make this a 9 and then go 3 to the power of 9 and 3 to the power, or p to the power of 9 here? 3 to the power of 9, my apologies. I am taking this 9 and I'm distributing it into this bracket. So each, the 3 goes to the power of 9 and so does the p. So then I've got negative 1 to the power, sorry, negative 1 over p. And this is all to the power of 9, right? So I'm going to put the negative 1 in brackets. That's to the power of 9. And I'm going to put, a, put the p to the power of 9. So I have p to the power of 9 here, p to the power of 9 there, 
they cancel out. Okay, let me write it cleaner in my next line. Times 3 to the power of 9. What's 3 to the power of 9? That is... 19683. Okay, all right. And now what is negative 1 to the power of 9? This negative 1 to the power of 9. That's going to be negative 1. Okay, and now I've got this P to the power of 9, dividing this p to the power of 9, so this can just be 1. So negative, and then I'm going to just simplify all of this, multiply that together. 9, 5, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 0. Oh. All right. This is the constant that we're looking for. There is no variable on it. All right, so this is the 10th term. Okay.